Well, everyone, this is an interesting one that we've been tracking here. Blowing up my social media feed, I don't know about yours, astronauts are stranded in space, stemming from issues with Boeing Starliner spacecraft. For more on this, let's bring in Yahoo Finance's Inez Farray here on Earth with us to break this all down. My goodness. Yes, here on Earth. And this return to Earth from the astronauts that are at the International Space Station has been delayed now a few times. And this, we're referring to Butch Wilmore and Suni Williams. They were scheduled to return on June 13th. The return has been extended for the third time. And after years of delay, Boeing Starliner had successfully launched back in June 5th. You'll recall that launch. But what happened was during the flight, engineers discovered some helium leaks to the spacecraft's thruster system. So in order to give time for these engineers to troubleshoot those issues, NASA said that it is going to push back the return to flight. And officials have tried to, though, calm concerns, basically saying, look, there's no reason to believe that Starliner won't be able to bring back the astronauts back home, stating they really want to work through the remainder of the data. Um, but this also, of course, brings more questions as this has now been delayed again. And it's not uncommon for astronauts to extend their stay aboard uh, a space, the space station for days, weeks, sometimes even months. Boeing Starliner program manager said at a news conference uh, in June, June 18th, said, well, albeit manageable, it's still not working like we designed it, so we've got to figure that out. Uh, NASA and Boeing have not said when the astronauts exactly will be returning. There is a spacewalk that is scheduled for July 2nd, so it would be after that July 2nd uh, spacewalk. But of course, what is very concerning is that is these delays, and uh, even though it's Boeing has sort of painted this as okay, this is a learning experience, and we're working through the data and we're figuring out these issues, it's still obviously uh, a string of challenges that Boeing has faced uh, this year, and the most critical part really of these is is the takeoff and the and the and the landing when you yeah. are talking about these as aircrafts uh, as spacecrafts because when they are coming back into the earth's atmosphere that is really the most crucial time so nothing can go wrong absolutely you know it was interesting fact set actually had mentioned boeing within their earnings insight their weekly insight that came out uh last friday talking about the industrial sector seeing the largest decrease in eps estimates and boeing leads the earnings decreases since March 31st here. So it's going to be a critical report when they do finally publish those results for the quarter that's wrapping up in just a few days here as well. But once again here in focus for Boeing. And Ness, thanks so much for tracking this story. Thank you. Absolutely.